Hey right, folks, good evening. I wanted to make a, a little bit of a different video here tonight. I'm getting a little tired of politics and just sick and tired of it. So I, I wanted to make a video about the values and benefits of investing in some, some silver and even some gold. It depends on what your budget is. Even if you don't have a lot of extra caches laying around, you can still invest in silver. I just checked that uh, tonight silver is now it's a little bit more than when I bought a whole bunch just a couple months back. It was only like 16 something bucks an ounce. Now it's $18.53 an ounce. So it went up a little bit. Now here's some quarters here. These 1964 and previous years were all made of 90% silver. So in an odd way, it's kind of funny and ironic to think how those five quarters are almost at face value, $1.50. Those six quarters are almost worth 20 bucks because of the silver content. They say it takes six of these silver quarters to have an actual troy ounce, one troy ounce. And uh, here's a pile of various silver coins I collected over the years. They're not worth nothing collectability wise. Even though you can see the 1889, it's so faded and it's in terrible condition. But I buy it, it's what's known as junk silver. I buy it for the silver content. Because if we ever have an economic collapse, and then my whole point of this is your paper money, which is this, will become worthless overnight. Overnight. Suppose you got $25,000 in the bank. It's worthless overnight at an economic collapse. And it might take, you know, 20 American dollars to make one peso. That's how bad it could get. That's a possibility that does exist. As long as it exists, you know, take precautions, protect your wealth, start buying some silver. We might go reach a time and a point where we might go back to where silver and gold, back in biblical times, that's how we buy stuff now. You might get some guy where you want to feed your family and he raises chickens, he raises cows, and maybe he's got a methane gas well. And, well... He'll have a sign that says, I will not accept any paper currency. Nope, not at all. But if you got some gold and silver, I'll talk to you. We can make a trade. You can barter with it. Whether it's food, gas, or whatever. Commodities. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to get it. Hey, there's a couple bars right there. That's, what, that's a cool one. A two-ounce Troy. Don't tread on me. <laughs> And a little skull and crossbones. I got five of those. Those are pretty cool looking. So I picked up some of them. You can stack silver and like remakes of the Morgan dollar. It's not a real Morgan dollar. It just says one troy ounce of silver. There's a couple two ounce coins. That's cool. It takes after the mercury dime. Mint condition. That's why I keep in these plastic cases so they don't get damaged and scratched up and messed up. Here's another cool one. Again, I bought a lot of this when it was only 16 bucks an ounce. Now it's up to 18 bucks. That's not much. I don't know what that piece of junk is on there. That's why they're in cases. Look at that thing. That's horrible looking. Chupacabra. It's supposedly an Australian mythological monster. Like half man, half jaguar, half freaking dog. Horrible predator. Two Troy ounces. That's a cool looking piece. I like it. My most prized possession is this. That is a one ounce gold coin from South Africa, Kruger Rand. Gold's about. Uh, I would have looked up silver, to be honest with you. Mint condition from 1978. That scratches on the case, not the coin. I was surprised to get a flawless one from 1978. Perfect. So it's something to think about. It's something to protect your wealth. You know, if all you got is all your money is nothing but paper currency, you're gonna lose a lot of your wealth. But silver and even gold, that retains its wealth all over the world. It, it does not change. Irrespective of what happens to our economy, China, India, and all these other countries that didn't have an economic collapse, well, you, you're still, so to speak, in action. You're still in business. Hey, here's another experiment. Here's another. 
not a non-silver quarter. I mean, you can tell by looking on the year of the quarter, but still, you can even tell by the, the sound they make when you slam them down. Listen, it was modern. You hear the difference? Ah, that wasn't a good one either. You hear it? The silver quarter always has a higher ping to it. That was kind of drab. You hear that high pitch ping to a, a true silver quarter. You might come across some where the dates faded off. But there's a little tip there. All right, that's about it. I don't want to get into too in depth. I'm just trying to get people to maybe look at, uh, if you got some extra cash, man, Invest in some gold and some silver. It might protect your wealth. If we have an economic collapse from someone like Bernie Sanders becoming president and steals most of your wealth, I'm going to do a follow-up video about that. Like a part two to this video. Well, all right. That's about all. All right. Y'all have a good night. God bless y'all. And I love y'all.